Hi everybody. Okay, today's exercise, I want to work with my horses on a little bit straightness and being simple. We, I put right here, I just am working over a vertical right now. Um, starting off, if your horses are not used to this, start off lower. Um, start off as like a cross rail to kind of help also have a guider um, in the center to get through it. But my guys have been, they jump bigger track. Um, they've been jumping for a while. But one thing I'm feeling with one of my horses, horse, is that he's kind of wanting to the last like two or three strides kind of lock and just gallop at the fence. Um, and we've been working on just making sure that he stays settled and he stays around and not putting his head up and then just disengaging his hindquarters and not powering off the hind end. So he just likes to kind of put his head up and just kind of his rhythm or his stride gets a little bit bigger. Um, we want him to stay round and hold himself to it so that he powers off and has a clean jump that we're not getting too close to the jump. Um, we're not, you know, getting too sloppy to where we end up putting a rail down so or even having a mistake so I decided I've been thinking about this because I had a lesson on him yesterday and he he was wonderful but there's a few moments where I felt him kind of lock and want to take charge and that's making it a little bit harder um, when we're coming into like a bigger oxer um, I feel like I kind of don't have control to him to the fence which can end up leading into something more and we don't want it to grow into something that it shouldn't be and it doesn't have to be so I was like thinking what can I I do to simplify my ride I'm all about you know making things simple um, so they are very clear for what you're asking for um, so that we're not over complicating things to where then they end up getting sloppy or they end up getting scared both the rider and the horse so overnight I thought about this what can I do to really help him not only just to make sure that he wants to stay in use himself he also has gotten to the point where he's so talented he kind of like fishtails um and he kind of just like finds like a little bit ways to make his job easier than just staying straight and just rocking back and jumping up over it and being you know powerful with that and you know i love him to death i love the fact that it's easy for him but we need to make sure we do things right so in the future when the jumps start getting bigger we're not having you know issues and we don't want to have those issues so i went ahead and i simplified this exercise today i went with um, something so simple as a vertical and i believe that's like a two nine vertical maybe be th three foot it looks a little smaller than three foot but we went with a vertical and then we went ahead and we added ground pulls on the front side and the back side of the jump to encourage them to stay round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work back and forth and go through it and have him jump up over it and then softly canter out and halt at the end. And if he's so good about it, then I'll just continue the canter through the corner. So um, going off of both directions. So our goal is to be able that we can pick up the canter from the halt in a straight line and be able to approach this exercise and our horse is going to hold himself and be quiet and understand where to place his feet. Um, think about his job, not just go, oh, I wanna jump, let's get this job done. No, we're focused focusing on the details, okay? The details, so that makes the riding and when we start coursing a lot easier. So I'm gonna walk this. Um, I put here, I put two poles on the side, which are a guiding poles. So I want him to really focus on straightness. We don't wanna find ourselves going left. We don't wanna find ourselves going right. We want straightness with our exercise. So I put two guiding ground poles on both sides. We have the blue and the white, and then on the other side, the pink and the black. So the thing is, we are starting out wider in the center here with our ground pulse. We are not going close um, because we don't want to make a mistake. We want right now him to understand and to focus on his feet and that we are not making a mistake going through to which end up scaring the rider and the horse. Um, we don't want to lose any confidence by any means. So make it simple. Again, you can start with a cross rail cross rail going back and forth. Another great thing is because of our placement and we have the poles here, even warming up, maybe you can do like a little bending trot over 
the blue poles or the pink poles um, for a good warm up um, with your flat before even jumping. So you can use, you know, these in two separate different uh, ways. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's walk this ground pole. So I'm walking this ground pole here. I'm walking it to the red jump. I'm not walking it to the green pole. I'm walking this to the red jump. Okay, so let's walk it with me. We're going one, two, three. So three, and then we add a foot. Okay, so this ground pull is I pulled it out a foot from our jump. All right, so to encourage them to stay and to not, you know, knock a rail, to stay round up over coming in. And then we added it on the back side so he stays round and he canters out afterwards. So again, I'm going to walk from the jump here to my pull on the landing side. We're going to go three, one, two, three three and then we added a foot to that one as well so we have both um, takeoff rail and landing rail on the jump so one thing is what I might end up doing is if he's doing great and maybe like I don't quite like the rhythm coming in and I don't quite like how he is striding out and how he's going through it and maybe I can add you know a second pull here and then also on the other side. And the reason why we would add these pulls is to encourage that that canter stride continues on, that we're not jumping and then we're kind of landing and stalling. We want to encourage that canter stride to keep going forward. So that's something that I'm gonna think about. Do I want to use and add two more pulls, one more here, and then one after the brown pull on the back side? over there. Do I want to add a few more pulls to encourage my horse to keep going forward? Um, maybe we can play with it. I can grab some pulls starting off to play with it and see how he, you know, works through it, how both of them work through it before making that decision. But my gut feeling is telling me I should add that other pull in. Not only is that other pull going to encourage the canister, it's also going to encourage them to really just think about their feet. Uh, when we're jumping, we want them to think about their feet so that they're not, you know, getting clumsy and knocking the rails over the fence. There are ways to do it in a healthy and safer, safer environment than doing some of the crazy things that, you know, some people do to make sure that they stay careful. We just train to teach our horse to think about its feet and a lot of ground pull work encourages that. All right, I hope this helps everyone out. I wanna also thank you uh, to my sponsors, uh, Rainbow Notorium for the beautiful colorful hair nuts and my Bellamute for the beautiful riding shirts and belts. They are amazing, go check them out. I will put the link in the description below. If you guys have any questions about you um, or your horse, I'd be happy to help you guys out and make a video which can help you guys, you know, work on at home to have improvement. Again, practice makes improvement. We keep working at it. Um, they are live animals. They're not always perfect the first time and we just keep working at it until we get it. And some days if that encourages you to maybe they just need something so simple and easy to keep their mind engaged and keep them feeling like confident as they walk out of the ring, then work on that. There's no reason to push your horse. There's no reason to push yourself if you guys are feeling not confident and not comfortable. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous day. Again, hit me up if you have any questions. Happy to help you all out. All right, cheers. Bye.